Thank you for joining me here in Southwest Arkansas Crater of Diamonds State Park Visitor Information Center. We're looking at their marquee to see what diamonds have been found here recently. There's a thicker tape of information that runs across the bottom and I can read that and then the pictures in the upper right show you what uncut diamonds look like right out of the ground. Nothing's been done. They haven't been polished or cleaned. That's how they look when you find them. So now you'll know what to look for when you come visit this unique state park. On Tuesday, May 17th, a visitor from Bartlesville, Oklahoma found a 31 point white diamond. 31 point is almost a third of a carat because there are 100 points of weight per carat. On Wednesday, May 18th, a visitor from Murfreesboro, Arkansas registered a three-point white. That was David Anderson. I was here that day and he also registered this 18-point yellow as well. So he registered two diamonds that day. He has now found 602 diamonds here. His largest is a 6.19 carat white. He found surface searching. On Sunday, May 15th, the visitor from Fishery, Indiana registered a white diamond weighing four points. There are 100 points of weight per carat. There's a four point white in the upper right. On Sunday, May 15th, a visitor from Burnett, Texas registered a 12 point white diamond. On Sunday, May 15th, a visitor from nearby Nashville, Arkansas, registered a white diamond weighing nine points. Yes, there is a Nashville in Arkansas and there's a Nashville, uh, Murfreesboro in Arkansas, same as in Tennessee. On Monday, May 16th, a visitor from Dirks, Arkansas, registered a one point white and that's Scott Krakus and he just came up here trying to distract me a moment ago. He's a real crater head, he's here a lot. On uh, May 16th, the visitor from Burnett, Texas registered an 18 point white diamond. There's that 18 yellow picture of it in the upper right that David Anderson found. I think we've just about run the gamut. That's a nice 40 point white diamond up there. Picture of it, it wasn't mentioned you know, at the bottom, but uh, anyway, this gives you a chance to see what the diamonds look like and see what's been coming out of the ground here recently. We Visitors to this unique state park have found over 300 diamonds so far this year. Last year, I think the total for the entire year was 345. Here it is late May and we're almost to match the number total number for last year, but uh, we're bound to surpass last year's numbers. I think things are going to get, they're going to start finding, okay, there's 300 diamonds found today. Scott Craig has just informed me, and I really think, oh, oh you found it. Okay, let, let's see. Turn, turn around. What is your name? Tell me your name. Michael. And Kim McVeigh. Oh, my, Michael and Kim McVeigh. I was going to meet you today. I'm yes, glad. Nice Hi. To meet you. Hi. Nice so you found you. a diamond today. Yes, yeah. we did. Congratulations. It must have been the hat that helped you find it. It was a good hat. I've got one like that. <laughs> yes, and I find was. diamonds. Well, good. So tell us about your diamond. It's a three-point round. Excellent. Yeah. You just had it registered. Yours is the 300th diamond of the year. Yeah, this was. Excellent. Yes. Fantastic. Well, Nate, have you found a diamond here before? This was the fifth one we found. Fifth. Very good. And where's home for you? Ogallala, Nebraska. How many hours does it take to get here? 14 hours. 14 hour trip. 14. Wow. And how many times have you come? This is our sixth trip. Excellent. Well, I'm glad it paid off and you you got you a diamond. Congratulations. Nice to meet you. I've been wanting to meet you here. Yes. Good. Nice Wonderful. To meet you, nice to meet you. Thank you.